So you want to properly attach your 3D model to your skeleton, but you don't even know what the word weight painting means. Not a problem. In about three minutes, you'll understand everything you need to know to weight paint properly. All right, let's do this. If you followed the last tutorial, you should end up right here. Now, while in object mode, select your body and click on the wrench and then check preserve volume. This will help your joints bend more naturally. Then go to weight paint mode in the settings tab, check X mirror. This just means that when you paint one side of the body, it automatically paints the other side as well. Now here is the important part. In weight paint mode under brush, make sure you check auto normalize. Do not forget to do this. Think of weight painting like bone territory. Red territory means the bone owns 100% of that location. Blue territory means that bone has no business there. See how when I select the head, the face turns red. This just means that the face belongs to the head. So when the head moves, all the red points will follow it 100%. Yellow points follow 75% and green points follow 50%. Now, if you did not auto-normalize, look what happens. If I give a new bone territory that already belongs to another bone, you see that? The face thinks that it belongs to two different places now, which means that these points won't know where to go, so they'll just try to average between the two locations. But with auto-normalizing, if you assign territory to a new bone, it will automatically subtract that territory from other bones. With auto-normalizing, your points understand how to share based on their colors instead of overriding each other. So do not forget to check this box. If you forget, you're going to have to do some crazy vertex group cleaning madness to fix it later and I'm not going to be able to help you because I don't know how to do that stuff so just try and stick with the program. Lastly, you're going to want to set up your brush. Alright, if this is your first time, listen carefully. You are only going to use two brushes, add and subtract. Weight is how powerful you mark the territory. Zero means zero percent or blue. One means 100 percent or red. Strength means how many clicks it takes to reach your weight. So if we set weight to one and then we set strength to one, now if we click on a point with the middle of the brush, it will claim that point red. But if we click using the outside of the brush, it will be weaker. You can use this to paint different amounts of detail without changing your settings. Now if you change the strength to 0.5 or 50%, it will now take two clicks to reach red territory instead of one. And if you were to change strength again to 0.3 or 30%, it would take three clicks to reach red territory instead. So generally, I always have weight set to one and I only change strength when adjusting for different amounts of territory. But that's just how I do it. Feel free to change these settings to whatever suits your needs the most. And that's it. You're done. So that covers all the weight painting tools that you will need to know. Now we are ready to begin weight painting our model. And if you join me next video, we will paint our rig in detail for smoother joint bending. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.